This is your friendly neighborhood Red Arrow on the thumbnail news anchor bringing you the hottest, the juiciest news about World of Tanks. Today we have a lot of topics to cover so let's dive right into the action including uh, a tier 9 tank what Wargaming is working on. Maybe a premium tank, we'll see. Uh, anyway, this one over here, ladies and gentlemen, is our new Waffentrager. Clean pictures, uh, no videos this time. This is how the Waffentrager is going to look like. Uh, quite menacing uh, railgun, not a double barrel once again, guys. Yeah. So this is the Waffentrager E110. What everyone is able to play with, you need to get keys, uh, completing missions with the Harriers, and you're able to play with it. Uh, you need to play with it uh, to be able to complete the Engineer's uh, Collection right. But this one is E220, uh, Waffentrager. E220, uh, what last year was a vehicle for content creators, streamers, uh, for wargaming, and uh, if you were able to beat this version of the tank, which is identical, but you know, special name, uh, you got some extra goodies, uh, a lot better drops uh, for you, so E220 right over here. Uh, what do you think about that? Moving on to the next topic, let's talk about Bofor Stornwagen Tier 8 Swedish uh, Primo tank, which will be here soon, maybe. Uh, nobody knows still uh, how they are going to release it, when exactly it's going to be available, uh, how it looks like, how weird it is, uh, uh, how it is going to play like this uh, turret or, you know, gun system is almost impenetrable. Anyway, mm, this has some loot box vibes to it. So, every single premium tank or every single uh, news about upcoming premium tank, and if it is a weird one, it is a potential candidate for uh, the loot box as well. Just look at this uh, thing right Right over here like if it is hull down like how are you going to damage that right it's like as annoying as the uh, grand one in tier 10s like the hull down meta is just simply getting out of hand like look at that look at that and it has some gun depression, it has uh, it has everything. But now, uh, Wargaming actually decided to nerf it a bit. As you can see, they made the dispersion on the move, on hull rotation speed. Um, a lot worse, actually, from 0 0.11, which is ridiculously good, up to 0 0.16. Also, rate of fire was uh, made worse from 4.13. Thirty-eight to 4.09, uh, so that means loading uh, is up to 14.68 uh, seconds. Aiming time was also made worse uh, from 1.96 up to 2.25, and average DPM was lower down to uh, 1600. Uh, so this is Bofors, uh, Bof Bofors, Bofors, uh, Tormon, Yeah, I, I hope this is at least. Uh, like how we have to pronounce that, right? Anyway, Caliban, right over here, some more pictures about the memeiest tank they are ever going to release. This one as well, it's just, it just, you know, smells, it just uh, stinks of loot box because it is so unique, it is so special, it is... It is just so terpy, so stupid. Can we even say stupid? Another look at this vehicle. Uh, high explosive shell price was made a bit um, more expensive uh, as a tier 8. The two round magazine. Um, Turp cannon, 950 alpha damage. This is just, you know, crazy. This is actually crazy talk. So, Caliban, once again, they are working on it. It seems to be in its final form, final state, and ready to be, re uh, ready to be released. Where? What do you think? Where is the, this tank can end up being? And while we're talking about premium tanks already, a quick question for you. How would you like to win a premium tank for free from me, from my pocket, ladies and gentlemen? And you can pick the price as well. There is actually a giveaway running already. Top in comment. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Clean.io link. But I'm not going to stop over there. Because thanks to our today's sponsor, I'm going to put 10,000 gold on the top of that. But guys, you need to be ready for the October. Because October is where it rains when it pours it rains because we have just so many things to celebrate as i said i'm collecting funds to make october epic my birthday my 10 years of earth of tanks content celebration anniversary Ooh, it is going to be big anyway let's hear a quick word from our sponsor and then i let you know what you have to do to be able to win your piece from the 10k gold cake what do you do during your morning coffee? How about couple arena fights or dungeons in a free-to-play RPG on your phone or on PC? With over 600 champions to collect from, and if you still didn't know that, here is a new legendary champion that some of you may recognize, Ninja. And he's completely for free by simply logging in for 7 days until October 
15. So use this chance to get the katana and a bow and arrow wielding beast who controls ice and fire at the same time. He's actually very good in many modes, especially versus spider or clan boss for example with his skills. Like passive which gets better the longer the battle goes on and uh, the AoE freeze which is one of the strongest control skills in the game. I have been working on him as well lately, slowly ascending uh, him up and boosting the care. He will be my next rank up to 6 stars as well actually. And this month by the way they released a huge Tomb Tower update with two new bosses, new enemy balance on tower floors, new secret rooms and new artifact set to get as well. Plus super rates are coming featuring double reward rates. So check it out by scanning my QR code on the screen or by hitting the link in the description and as a new player you will get 200,000 silver, one experience boost, energy refill, ancient shard and epic Chonoro champion on the top. Just accept them from the inbox in the next 30 days and you are good to go. And there you go, absolutely fantastic. What you have to do to be able to take your piece from the 10,000 gold cake I have for you in the comment section. Please let me know where do you think those tanks end up being? T. Uh, Caliban, T. Bofors, uh, Tornwagen. Uh, where do you want to see them at least? The Marathon tank, uh, maybe? Uh, T. Uh, Caliban uh, loot box tank, maybe the Tornwagen Marathon tank. You know, like they can end up being anywhere, a reward vehicle, but where you would like to see them and what you think let me know in the comment section together with your username and with your server and at the end of the month i am going to make four of you happier with 2500 gold but now moving on to the next topic because we have so much stuff to talk about uh, this is update 1.14's common test uh, uh, article common test number one article and if we scroll down if we scroll past all the buffs uh, what they did to the uh, chinese vehicles i already made an episode about that uh, and if we go to the very bottom Bottom, we can see that they added couple vehicles. So, they added KV1 shielded. More about that in, this, uh, in a second. They added a following vehicle to the Super S player's Object 590. Hmm, what could Object 590 be? Also M4Y, this is the uh, first Yo tank uh, with the special tank. I have made episode about that as well. The uh, convertible uh, medium tank T3, Caliban and also before Storm 1. So they are testing it out uh, together with all the other players as well to see how fitting it is. But... The main focus right now is going to be on Object 590. You may ask, what is the Object 590? Very good question. And to get information about this tank, let's take a look at what Express. Object 590, a magazine for free shells with uh, reverse loading. Ladies and gentlemen, I have made one episode about that in the past. This is the reverse auto reloading tank. Once again, from Russia, this is the same as IS-3. The less shells you have in the magazine, the faster your reload time is going to be. This is that type of uh, vehicle. So, this tank is uh, ready to be tested on the test server and oh boy, I am afraid once again. Because this is something unique for a tank like this, for a medium tank. This is very unique, this is how this tank looks like. And how do they want to release? How do they like to release unique tanks via loot boxes, right? Once again, guys, I am 100% speculating over here. This can end up being a reward vehicle for ranked battles, for, I don't know, Frontline, the upcoming Steel Hunter. Maybe it comes uh, uh, to the server in 2022, but, you know, just looking at the history, this has, once again, it uh, clicks and it ticks all the boxes for something like that. I like those antennas, by the way. So this is Object 590. Tier 9 Russian Premium Medium Tank, they say. Let's have a quick look. <clears throat> so under 2000 dpm, 320 alpha damage, 225 millimeters of penetration. Now penetration values, uh, quite bad actually for a tier 9, 225 and the Premium round gives you uh, 268. So quite bad on that department. So once again, why? Why should this be so bad, right? And uh, here you can see the auto reload, the reload times. If you have no shells in the magazine, your reload time is 10 seconds. If you have one shell in the magazine, 13 seconds. If you have two shells in the magazine, 16 seconds. On Progetto 46, it is vice versa. 
the more shells you have, the faster the reload time is going to be. So basically, you're cycling your final shot, right? But over here, if you want to get the maximum DPM, you empty that clip right here, right now, and then just... Um, Wait on your 10 second reload for 320 alpha damage in tier 9. You know, this is nothing special, absolutely nothing special, I would say so. Uh, but uh, still, the reverse uh, on Russian, the reverse auto reloading tank. I guess this is going to be the Russian thing. I guess so. Uh, so, free shells in the magazine 960 uh, alpha damage, uh, full clip potential, and the reload time between shots is uh, 3.51 seconds. Very weird number, I guess just you know, 3.5 seconds. Aiming time, horrible 3 second aiming time. Accuracy 0.42, absolutely horrible accuracy. Uh, this is uh, the version of the uh, Object 590 they're testing on the 1.14.1's public test server right now. And uh, here you can see all the, all the values. Like this gun seems to be absolutely horrific. Honestly, absolutely horrific. I don't know if it is going to be buffed, it is, uh, if it is going to be nerfed. Very interesting, right? It is very interesting. Shell velocity is absolutely amazing, though. Um, so maximum range, 720. Yeah, 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 yeah. What else interesting under the firepower? Nothing, I guess. Top speed, 52. Reverse speed, 25. A decent power weight ratio, you know, 20. 800 horsepower engine, 44. The reverse speed. Um, what else interesting? Uh, minus 5 degrees of counter pressure is ultra bad once again. 22 ele 23 elevation. Uh, do, 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 do. Hull armor. Okay, 110, 75, 45, 200, 130, and 100. So let's take a look at the 3D armor model versus its own tank versus 225 millimeters of penetration so let's say versus tier 8 basically yeah versus tier 8 so the lower plate is going to be easy penetration but the upper plate is going to be quite uh, hard to penetrate for tier 8s and once again if you use your minus uh, mm, like five degrees of compression commander hatches still are a weak spot so, uh, you know the very the area very close to the gun mantle as well and next to the gun mantle 200 millimeters thick so there are some uh, positions to penetrate this tank, uh, extremely sloped armor, this is how it is so bouncy, you know, it's like Brochetto's uh, armor, but a lot higher armor value. It's like, it's close to like Brochetto's, uh, Brochetto's angle, right? But extremely high armor value. But as soon as you are slightly above that guy, you can easily penetrate it, right? <clears throat> so, Object 590, they say uh, Tier 9 Russian Premium Medium Tank, but this Premium can mean uh, a reward vehicle over here as well. We are simply speculating over here, but it is getting closer and closer. When they are testing it on the uh, public test server already, you know that stuff can come out anytime. Or sometimes they wait for a very long time still. So, Object 590, what do you think about that? Let me know in the comment section down below, because we are moving on to another vehicle, what they are working on, the M4A2 D34, Tier 5 Remum tank. And they released all that information together with uh, before Storm 1, for example, but uh, this vehicle uh, received a lot of nerfs as well. Uh, reload time was made longer from 5.75 seconds up to 6.71. Aiming time was made worse up to 2.88. Uh, second aiming time accuracy up to 0 0.41. So uh, they nerfed it quite a bit after first the tests on the public server, I guess. And the average DPM under 1500. Uh, so this is how the vehicle looks like. It's um, the T-34 turret on the M4 hulls, basically. Like uh, like Frankenstein-ish tank. It's straight out hull from one nation, turret from the other nation. Let's make it as a premium tank and let's be happy. Nice. And finally, let's talk about KV-1 Shielded, which looks like this. Uh, basically a standard KV-1. And uh, let's slap some extra plates on the side and we have KV-1 screened and uh, we have yet another premium tank ready. Uh, I don't see them selling this tank. Maybe it is going to be a reward tank somewhere, somehow, or maybe they are going to sell it. Because when they actually made, when was the last time they made a tier 5, tier 4, tier 6 premium tank for sale? I think STRV is 74 or the, you know, the Swedish medium tank was a tier 6. Uh, that was up for sale as well, straight out, you know. Uh, I actually don't remember. 
Like, if you do, please let me know, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, it looks it looks cool, you know. KB, KB1 always is quite, kind of unique tank, but it's absolutely lazy tank. Lazy tank design, in my humble opinion. And before I go, before I forget, on the screen, smack, there are all the winners from one of my previous giveaways, where I gave away 30,000 gold. I did pick the winners in 24 hours after... Uh, the giveaway ended all the winners right over here please go to your premium store and accept 5000 gold because everyone received 5000 gold congratulations and as i said in today's video 10000 gold up for grabs in the comment section smack the like button smack the subscribe button so everything is good and you do not miss any other giveaways random giveaways because i never announce them on the thumbnail and uh, not in the title or in the description if you watch my stuff, you have a chance to win. Much love, stay awesome, enjoy your weekend, take care and bye.